Hey all, it's Vookster here, and today we have a really cool idea. I present to you the MCU pitch for Marvel's Nova. Nova is rumored to get a special presentation within the next couple years. However, I do not believe there are any plot leaks of this idea, and therefore it is up to us to deliver a really cool story. So today is just a little idea pitch for you. First, I have to introduce to you guys three characters. This being Titus, Jesse Alexander, and Adamux. These three characters are going to be integral to the story, and let's start with Titus. Titus is a member of the Supernovas, which is a branch of the Nova Corps. He served with Jesse Alexander, which you guys may know is the father of Sam Alexander. Due to a Chitari invasion, Titus lost his right eye and arm. And later on, we go to see him do the quest to find Jesse Alexander's Nova helmet. If you guys want a more in-depth version of Titus' story, ask for a Nova Corps video where I can go over everybody in good detail. Next, we're going to Jesse Alexander. Not much was done with this character other than being the father of Sam Alexander. But all you really have to know is that he worked with Adamux's Supernovas, which he dubbed the Black Novas. And now these aren't the regular golden blue Novas that you're used to seeing. Their helmets are black. It's a really cool thing to, to point out because in adaptations of Sam Alexander's suit, he had the black helmet. And next we have Adomix. So Adomix is very special in the way where he barely has a congruent character. Yeah, so Adomix forms the Black Novas. And so uh, I'm going to make him basically a partner or henchman to Titus. And so, again, if you want to see these three characters in more detail, like the video, leave a comment, and hopefully uh, we can make a nice, compact Nova Core video going over all of the important characters and their tie-ins to the Guardians of the Galaxy. We have to start with the decimation of Xandar, right? So, we know in Infinity War, Thanos raided Xandar and was able to take the Power Stone by force. We have multiple articles out there right now that explain how this was done, but no one knows the congruent MCU answer, at least I do not. Um, I tried to find it, but for the sake of it, we're going to assume that after Thanos destroyed the planet, he took the Power Stone and slaughtered half the population, just like he would do for any other planet under his genocidic rule. And Thanos made sure that he wiped out the Nova Corps as best as he could in order to ensure that Thanos was not going to be bothered by the Corps later down the road. We're going to say that in Thanos' war on Xandar, Titus loses his arm and eye um, instead of the Chitauri invasion. So Titus loses his arm and eye, and a teammate of Titus, Jesse Alexander, tries to hide an artifact of import, an ancient helmet said to harness the power of a supernova. He hides this away to make sure Thanos doesn't get any more power that he needs. This helmet belonged to the most decorated warrior of the Nova Corps, but was later used as a museum item to hide the power it would contain. Jesse knew, however, that Thanos of all beings would know that this helmet was on Xandar and that he would know what it is, um, and, and thus giving him access to it was not an option. However, Jesse fails to hide the helmet because after the war, the helmet just ended up as a, uh, a rubble on the war-torn planet. Um, Almost as if, like, the bunker he was trying to get to, or the hiding place he was trying to get to, was destroyed. And there's so much chaos and so much mess that the helmet was kind of lost. And at this time, Titus assumes leader of the core, assuming that Nova Prime is dead. And this is where we introduce our character, Richard Ryder. Basically, what we got here is Richard Ryder, a surviving member of Titus's new core, reluctantly follows order. He does not like... Titus's aggressive tyrannical role, but knows he does not have a choice. Titus's advisor, Adamix, helps rebrand the core into the renegade group known as the Black Novas. 
And so what Titus does is that he recognizes that there is still an artifact of importance that was lost in the war, this being the Nova Helmet. And so he sends a surviving crew of members of that war to scavenge the battlefield for the helmet. Titus wants it for power and to confirm his rule over the Zendarian people. Richard Ryder is one of these surviving members that has to scavenge the battlefield. You know, unlikely hero, Richard Ryder is the one to find the helmet. Refusing to allow tyranny over the people he swore to defend, he refuses to give the helmet to Titus. He's like, no, I am not going to give you this helmet. This is a helmet for the hope of the people and not your tyrannical rule. His partner, however, already calms that the helmet was found by Ryder, and Richard tries to talk sense into his partner that what was happening was wrong and that this wasn't the way to fix Xandar, but the partner disagrees and holds a gun up to Ryder. Ryder flinches behind the helmet. Titus appears and brutally beats Ryder after trying his best to reason again. He's reasoning for power, so he doesn't care what happens to Ryder. He only cares that he gets the helmet. So he brutally beats Ryder, and then before he shoots him, before, you know, Ryder dies, he's on the ground, you know, he can't fight anymore. Before Titus shoots him, the troops begin to snap away. Essentially what happens is Ryder uses this as a distraction to grab the helmet and put it on in an attempt to fly away. Now, Ryder does not know how to use the Nova helmet uh, or its powers, of course. The flight is very rough and he can't use the powers very well. And as he orbits into space, he continues to go light speed fast, almost as if the helmet was trying to save him or his fight or flight drove his adrenaline to the maximum. He crashes onto a planet and lays unconscious. Unsuspecting village people find him and take him in. He basically ends up protecting the village from bandits and creatures, and he learns his powers as a new Nova. Now, one of the elder priests holds on to a purple amulet, and this priest says he found it from a ship crash. Years after Ryder lands on this planet, you know, he's begun to mature, he's begun to understand what it means to be a Nova. Nova wakes up to explosions, and he walks outside and the village is on fire. The people return from the ship, crashed from earlier, brought back from the reversal snap. So basically we have this, this, this ship crash not too far from the village, um, and the order of events is it crashes, because the people in the ship were snapped, and the priest was able to go into the ship not seeing anybody in there, and he was able to recover this gem or this jewel, this amulet, and he used it as an almost decorative piece of being a priest. Now that the people from the ship are snapped back, um, we find out that it was actually a cargo vessel smuggling prisoners and artifacts of importance. The one prisoner of note smuggled on the ship was Evil Hawk, and we find out that the people operating the ship were actually part of the Black Novas. And so what these people do, uh, the Black Nova pilots, is they send out a, distre a distress call under the name of Black Nova. Obviously, comm technology is different. Uh, it's been years since the snap, so different ways of getting in touch is hard, but if you're able to send a distress beacon, a distress beacon under the name of Black Nova, um, Titus will be able to find them, but other people would also be able to find the distress symbol or the, the signal in, in whole. Seeing how the smuggled artifact, the amulet that the priest has, was gone, Titus and his fleet arrives to, and pillages the village and kills the elder for the artifact right in front of Ryder. Ryder single-handedly fights Titus and the Black Novas, and Titus decides to finish the kill on Ryder as they smuggle the amulet out of the planet's surface. Nova manages to knock Titus away and manages to get away for enough time to fire a giant burst of energy at the fleeing ship that holds the amulet. The amulet reacts to this burst of energy and the vessel vanishes. Angered, Titus ruthlessly beats Ryder and makes him prisoner. And so now we see him back on Xandar, you know, he's a prisoner, the village 
that he learned to love is now gone. The people there dead. The snap is now reversed. And we are on Xandar seeing a Titus Empire. And so, when Jesse Alexander sees Ryder in prison on Xandar, he has a change of heart. Tired of their ruthless rule, he sent a distress beacon to the Guardians, knowing that they once helped the Nova Prime of the past. Titus finds out about Jesse freeing Ryder and kills him in cold blood. The Guardians ask for landing passage on Xandar, unaware of what it has become. But this was obviously denied, and the Guardians knew something was up. Titus's military ships began to attack the Guardians as they persisted to land, and Ryder used this as a distraction to escape and get the helmet back. Ryder checks the armory, but he wasn't there. He knew it would have been too good to be true for the V Nova helmet to be in just an army barracks. It would have to be with Titus in his throne room or in or worst case scenario, he is using it. When he finds out there's nothing in the armory, he gets spotted by a guard along the way and they basically duke it out and they brawl and Ryder takes him out and is able to use his security uniform as a kind of camouflage-esque infiltration sort of thing. Basically, he makes his way up to the palace room and he sees the helmet by Titus' side. Ryder tries to sneak up on him, but his cover is blown by the Guardian ship crashing into the palace. The Guardians get out of their crashed vessel and start to fight Titus, guards, and Black Novas versus the Guardians of the Galaxy. Now, keep in mind that this is the new Guardians that we see at the end of Guardians Volume 3. So we have Kraglin, Groot, Rocket, uh, Philavel, uh, Cosmo, and Adam Warlock. Ryder uses this as a distraction to go for the helmet, but Rocket thinks he's just some guard, so he points his gun at him. Ryder tries to explain, but Titus blasts Rocket. Titus, thinking Ryder was a guard, ignores him and walks towards Rocket's struggling corpse. Titus points the gun over Rocket, and Ryder grabs the helmet and stands in front of the gun. Titus looks surprised at this. Richard Ryder is back, and after a brief dialogue, he, they begin to fight. Now, eventually Ryder realizes that he can't display the power needed to beat Titus without adding casualties. So he and the Guardians fight Titus and the Black Novas, and the Novas won't stop unless he beats Titus. So he takes Titus and he flies him up into space as far as he can go. And with Titus in his clutches, he makes a supernova blast, atomizing Titus in the process and blackening the Nova Core suit that he wears. This turns his helmet black, signifying that the Nova Core can no longer be the same. Nova travels back to Xandar where he and the Guardians officially become allies and they go through fixing Xandar in, dem in democratic ways um, and recruit Nova as part of the Guardians of the Galaxy. Adramax was able to flee the scene with surviving Black Novas. An ending scene where the Black Nova smuggling ship that disappeared from earlier appears in space above Earth's orbit and starts to crash. Now this is because when the vessel disappeared, they basically were teleported into null space, and they traveled through null space and were able to come out of it onto uh, Earth's orbit. And an unsuspecting man watches the news coverage. This man is Peter Quill. Um, and so, because what well, this is taking place above New York-ish, and so Peter is still in Missouri, but uh, the news coverage over New York is abundant, and so he's able to watch the live stream of news. Once this ship crashes, a group of 20-year-olds follow the crash, and a male steps forward and sees the amulet. The amulet continues to grow brighter and brighter, and the others begin to run, but the male doesn't. A big flash appears, and the helicopter covering the news crashes and it cuts to black now if you guys don't know what that amulet in that mail is that is christopher powell and that is the dark hawk amulet um and so yes yeah, so that is where the pitch for nova ends let me know what you guys think and uh you know hope you guys enjoyed it take care